Here's why I built emergency resilience. Because as first responders, we need to stop being so reactive. We need to stop waiting until the next suicide happens and until it hits closer to home and until it becomes more personal. We need to start becoming more proactive and building resilience and not just paying attention to the suicides, but paying attention to the destructive behavior that we've all partaken in leading up to those moments. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we're turning a blind eye to. There's a lot of things that we could be integrating into training right now. There's a lot of things that need to be talked about and brought into the discussion, brought to the table that need to be just integrated into normal discussion so that it's not this big slap in the face um, and it's not so hard to bring up once it's here because it is here because the reality is that we're now dying more by our own hands than we are by the hazards of the job and that's something that I'm not I'm not okay with you know I I research this stuff I teach on it I study it um it's become a huge part of me and if if you really want to know what fuels me, I'm terrified. I'm terrified because every time I hear about another person in my network of friends or even a person who knew a person that just died of suicide, I think, God, who's next? And if it's not someone who's next, who's suffering now? Who's not getting help now that needs it? And that's why I created this. Um, and that's why I'm here. So if you've wondered what's this thing that Alex is up to now, uh, it's really just to build classes and help, help in any way. So um, what I do know is I can't do it alone. Um, I know it's an integrated network um, of people coming together to make something happen. So let me know how it's going at your agency. Let me know what's working, what's not working, what you need more of, um, what's helping. And I'll do my best to kind of bridge that gap because we do have a big gap right now. And I do think that training and education and um, becoming a more proactive culture is where we're gonna see some changes. So thanks.